Assalamu alaikum. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Today, inshallah, we are going to talk about honesty and truthfulness. Look at this picture. What does this word mean? Once you hear the word honesty, what does this word represent to you? Good. As you said, honesty means doing the right thing in the right way at the right time. Honesty means objectivity in judgment, objectivity in evaluation, and objectivity in decision of all time. What does the Quran and the Sunnah say about honesty? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded that a Muslim to be honest by saying A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu attaqu allaha wa kunu maa al-sadiqeen In English Allah said O oh, you who please, fear Allah and be with those who are true, true in word and in deeds. Chapter number 9, ayah number 119. And the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, You must be truthful. Verily, truthfulness leads to righteousness, and righteousness leads to paradise. A man continues to be truthful and encourages honesty until he is recorded with Allah as truthful. And beware of falsehood. Verily, falsehood leads to wickedness, and wickedness leads to the hellfire. A man continues still lies and encourages falsehood until he is recorded with Allah as a liar. Do you remember what the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said once the message of Islam came upon him? He climbed the mountain when he gathered all the people of Mecca and asked them, All people of Mecca, if I say that an army is advancing on you from behind the mountains, will you believe me? All said in one voice, Yes. Because we have never heard you telling a lie. All the people without exception swore to his truthfulness and the honesty because he had lived an unblemished and extremely pious life among them for 40 years. Abu Sufyan described his honesty. At that time, when Abu Sufyan was asked about the character of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Abu Sufyan wasn't yet a Muslim. When the Prophet Muhammad sent the letter to the emperors inviting him to Islam, the emperor sent for the Meccan trader Abu Sufyan to ask him about Muhammad. When he said, Abu Sufyan responds saying, he neither tells lies nor betrays other, he bids people to worship God alone and ordered us to observe prayer, honesty, and abstinence. This is a testifying of non-Muslim Abu Sufyan at that time, before converting into Islam. Honesty here, sincerity, commitment, reliability, trust. What does Islam need Muslim to be? Islam orders the Muslim to be honest to himself and others. This order repeatedly comes in the Noble Quran, the saying of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Islam orders the Muslim to tell the truth even if it's against the tailor's interest, orders him not to cheat or deceive other people. A Muslim is ordered by Allah to be honest in his words and deeds, privately and publicly like. What is the implication of honesty? What should we be honest at? Honesty in words implies telling the truth in all cases and under all conditions. Honesty also implies fulfilling the promise, whether written or given orally, in text and spirit. 
honesty also implies giving the right advice to the one who asks for it. Honesty also implies doing one's work as, in, as sincere, sincerely and as perfectly as possible. Honesty also implies carrying out duties as follow as possible, whether the person is supervised or not. Honesty means giving every person his due rights without his asking for these rights. Honest as well means is a blanket term. Honest is a blanket term that covers a wide range of trades. It covers telling the truth, sincerity in work, carrying out duties, fulfilling one's word, objective judgments, and objective decisions. Honesty is the opposite of lying, the opposite of bluffing, the opposite of hypocrisy, and the opposite of deceit. How do we see society without honesty? Can you imagine that if we live in any society without honesty? What do you think of this society? Okay, in the absence of, the, of honesty, many social diseases appear. If a person is dishonest, he is ready to tell lies, to bribe, to be bribed, to distort the truth, to cheat, to forge, to deceive others, to break his promises. A dishonest person is a totality, totality of diseases. He is ready to misbehave at any time, each time he misbehaves, he causes a great disturbance or harm to one person or to group, or persons or to the whole nation in some cases. When honesty is lost, then wait for an hour. This is the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He said that when honesty is lost, then wait for the hour. The hour means the day of judgment. They paint a picture of the time leading up to the day of judgment, when righteous people will be sorrowful due to the lack of honesty around them. In the 21st century, we live in a world where honesty is valued and yet shunned at the same time. We expect people to be honest in their dealing with us yet. We watch and applaud television shows and the movie that promote and encourage lying and deceitfulness. Now, video is done. But before leaving you, you have to get a question here to think more about it. And the next time you can discuss the answer. Ready? Okay. The question here. Mention some incidents from Sira. Sira means the whole life and the biography of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. You have to mention some incidents about his honesty or the honest of the Prophet Muhammad. Jazakumullahu khayran. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.